All right, well, I really hope the angle is good on this. Because I ain't no two takes. We'll call my extra wallet. Where's my fuel card? There it is. Insert your card. I take your card out. I do not have a speedy rewards card. Truck number. Always get your gloves. Truck fuel, yes. Dispense for fuel. Today was a real, real crappy day. I'm gonna hit diesel. It's about 424, and I think I got a discount to like 380, 390. Now let's go to the other side. Hear them tanks real empty. We'll see what her total comes out to be. So, hop inside the truck. As I was mentioning, today's been just a real, real crappy day. I know today I made that video about like cooking in the truck and whatnot. Long story short, I was supposed to have a 10 a.m. pickup today. I showed up last night and the guy was like, hey, we're not gonna have the parts ready, just come tomorrow. I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's my time tomorrow anyways. So I went back this morning. Um, well, I didn't even go back. Dispatch called me. They're like, hey, that load 10 a.m. It's not going to be ready till 6 p.m. Uh, if you want to wait, great. If you don't, we can take you off the load and maybe try to look something else. Being Friday, near Nashville, damn near impossible to get a load home. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I can stuff this thing. Yep. So I'm like, you know what, uh, let's just stay on that load because there's not really too many options and it was, it's a little crooked, but it's all right. And it was a pretty good load. So I was like, screw it. We'll just stay with it. And so then I went and showed up at like 5 PM and, uh, they're like, nah, it's not going to be ready till 10 PM. So I'm like, what the hell at this point? So then I went and showed up at 9 p.m. And the guy's like, I showed up and it was literally, let's see what this thing is on. It was literally only a security guard there. There was no workers. And he's like, uh, actually your load, it's gonna be coming in at 4 a.m. at this point. I'm like, dude, what the hell now? And he's like, yeah, the security guard, the people that work here told me to stay and wait for you and let you come in and then uh when they come in they'll load you i'm like okay like that sucks but at least i have a load it's already night like what am i gonna do so i'm like screw it i'll just stay on this freaking load i'll stay here hopefully get a lawyer go deliver it boom go home i stayed there maybe like an hour waiting and then my dispatch calls me he's like well she's like uh yeah they uh they just canceled the load and I'm like, are you serious? Like, I've been waiting around for 24 hours for this load. And then they canceled it. And I guess the reason I want to cancel is like, they're like, oh, okay, well, this guy's going to be around this much. And I think at this point, they just kind of accepted they're not getting this load in. So I think they just 
made rearrangements at the receiver. So they just went and canceled it. I mean, long story short, realistically, my load was for 6 p.m., not since 10 a.m., so they counted from 6 p.m. Sure, they pay you a tonu, but screw a tonu, like 24 hours wasted. Ain't much you can do, really. It's just the industry. It's Friday night. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna head on home. Uh, let's check this thing out. Let's uh, set it back over here. Should be not too bad of an angle right here. Just so you can stay. So yeah, I mean, long story short, as I was saying, uh, 24 hours wasted. I was in uh, Manchester, Tennessee, which is like right before the scale. Westbound on 24. It's about just under 400 miles from St. Louis. And at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Just screw it, man. I'm just gonna head home and call it a day. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Fueling up right here. I'm about to spend some dollars. And uh, yeah, hopefully get home by the morning and do what we can do. Ain't none too, but to do a better to deadhead than haul a dollar a mile load that's heavy as hell or some crap and support these brokers. So I don't know. I mean, I'm I don't like deadheading. I don't think anybody likes deadheading, but I'd still rather deadhead than pull a terrible load and just encourage these brokers to keep screwing this over. It just sucks, you know, uh, when things like this happen, but. Let me finish fueling on this other side. How many gallons do I have? It's getting chilly. Someone's pulling in with some straight pipes. We got 201 gallons for $856. And I think, uh, I'm gonna think I'm probably at 800 bucks after discount. It's not too terrible, but it's also not good. Let's see here. The guy in front of me is not exactly moving, so I'm gonna go give him a receipt and catch in a bit. Let's uh, get going. Stand people like this this guy's just chilling like I pulled up I fueled up did everything and he's still chilling in the fuel aisle Look at this fucker. 
<laughs> Taking his break in the fuel aisle. Trucking industry is down the down the down the toilet. I'd express myself a little better, but I mean, it's like look at this. That is so tight. Grab my hat for a little bit better experience. Show you what this stuff looks like and how tight it is. People are just like parked anywhere. Like there's a reason why they make this as wide as they do so people can go through here. This is you gotta be stupid to park there. And I gotta go ride this curb. I mean, as you can see, the, the situation, the parking situation in the trucking industry is just, it's, it's terrible, you know? It's just absolutely terrible. Like, you see this little speed co here and it's packed. Like, you can barely get through. And then you have guys like that one guy over there, he's just camping it out at the fuel aisle. And it's Friday, and like, there's way less trucks on the weekends on the roads. And it's that busy on a Friday. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty insane. Hopefully the angle on my hat is even good. I haven't had my hat on in a long time. Eight hundred bucks on that tank. I just deadheaded on third of that tank home. So just spent 300 bucks to deadhead home.
okay guys without making more of a boring drive at night can't see really too much anyways I'm gonna call that a night thank you for tagging along and listen to me complain and uh, catch you on the next one take it easy stay safe later alligator